in each backpack. So each of the girls' backpacks. So there's seven girls, which means there's seven backpacks. Okay? And then there's seven big cats. I can feel the light of clearly, but I never thought I'd be alone to try. Once cats had four legs. Well, there's like how many girls are on the bus. There's seven girls. So you just get to Yeah. Open and closed. Oh, that works. Because all the odd numbers get closed. See, it's bright and positive. Yeah. And you have to pay attention to the number that the student was assigned to because we have to change the status. So that means it's flipped. Yes. Yeah, so all the. Wait, which one are you at? The number. The number. Should you assign to locker number three? No, number three. Oh, number three. So. Um, closes all the lockers that are the multiples of two. So, so we should write them in multiple. Two, four, six, eight, ten, The Norwegian lives next to the blue. And the man who swims oh, the blue. Yep. The Norwegian. He lives next to it. That could be a problem. Okay. The greenhouse is on the way. Inténtalo. Muy bien, amores. Ok, todo el mundo saca tu línea recta de tiempo, por favor. ¿Quién quiere recogerlo? Um... Hola, yo soy Landry. Y yo soy Sidney. Ok, why should I practice grammar skills online? Well, Landry, you should practice grammar skills online because there, Spanish has a lot of irregular verbs. And if you don't want to have to sit and practice them and memorize them, because that's kind of boring and nobody wants to do that, then online practice is a good alternative because, well, it's not overwhelming and there's not too much work you have to do. And it's very easy in Spanish. We watch the news in Spanish so that we can not just pick up the Mexican accent, but the accents from like 20 other countries, Spanish-speaking countries. We also watch the news in Spanish to keep up with the current events during the world. Thanks. Why is it important to read daily in Spanish? So you can expand your vocabulary and read better. Three. What are the goals for fly students after middle school? The goal of fly students once they leave middle school is to be fluent in Spanish, test out for the Spanish 1-2 for high school, and to pass the civics test so they don't have to take it later. In la clase de Señora Ferroni, necesitamos hacer mucho en estudios sociales. Necesitamos escribir muchos ensayos y aprender gramática. Sí. La gramática es difícil porque este es el primer año para ver este, um, estas palabras. 
es muy difícil y necesitos, es, necesitamos practicar muy duro. Sí, es muy difícil y necesita aprender mucho porque, como tú dices, Oliver, es nuestro primer año con estudios sociales en español. Necesito escribir ensayos con mucho detalle y los, el vocabulario. Uh, Van va a aprender mucho de este en la clase de señora Press y mucho más. Ahora en inglés para los papás. Oh, sí. Okay. This is our first year doing social studies in Spanish, so we're going to we're going to need to write long essays with a lot of detail and lots of vocabulary in it. on there you can do a write prompt and in the write prompt you write about what the story was about or they give you a specific prompt. What is your favorite thing to do on study sync? My favorite thing to do on study sync is to do the write prompt. I like doing the write prompt because I get to really think about the story and I really get to think about the characters, what they felt in the story and yeah. That's what, I what do you learn and do on study sync? You learn how to answer questions properly and properly write an essay. 
Um, how does it improve your reading and writing skills? It improves your reading and writing skills because you have to think about what isn't explicitly stated and you just have to understand the text. Well, I was scheming for the masses. Who do you think you are? Dreaming about being a big star. They say you're basic, they say you're easy. You're always riding in the backseat. Now I'm smiling from the stage while you were clapping in the nosebleeds. helpful for you? I think they're helpful because it gives our parents information of what we have to do after school and what they need to do and it also reminds me of what our teachers assigned us to do for homework. And I think planners are helpful so we can tell our parents what we important meetings we have to go to after school. Let's talk about homework. Every night we're going to be assigned homework and sometimes we're going to have some on the weekends. Read about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to, we can expect 15 to 20 minutes of math. Also 20 to 30 minutes of Spanish if you are fly. We can have, we'll do current events twice a month in humanities. Science also aside from Mr. Hunsaker. Also, if there is any unfinished classwork, then we will be finishing it, then we will be finishing it at home and we should be spending about an hour in there. Tiger bucks are a school currency and I can earn them by showing shield traits. Shield tickets, though, can be used to earn quarterly rewards, but Tiger Bucks can be used to buy no homework passes, school supplies, free dress-out tickets, monthly reward, and monthly rewards. Okay. Three. All right. This is my binder. So what my binder has is has a pencil pouch with all my pencils, all the necessary accessories. Um, it also has an agenda, which we need all the time has loose leaf paper in the front and also all our subjects all in order too. Is that the same with yours? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A pencil pouch, agenda, a loose leaf paper if we need it, and then all of our uh, our classes in order. I put mm -hmm. that with mine. All my classes are in order mm -hmm. for the tab so if I need it it's Yes. Okay. And there's no extra loose paper in it too. And there's, everything's in the right place, not science is in math, or math is in science, anything like that. Um, this binder is especially helpful because it keeps you organized, and you can just pull out the whole thing, and it'll just be all there. Yeah. You don't have to, like, so everything in one place, yeah. easy to get. Mm -hmm, exactly. As teachers, we understand that you know your child best, and if students are struggling with homework, please encourage your child to communicate with their teachers. Reading homework can be incorporated in many ways, but we do want your child reading each night. Middle school students can expect up to one hour of homework for all their core classes combined each night. Our goal is to assist students in learning how to balance their academic responsibilities along with their personal and extracurricular activities. In the backseat, now I'm smiling from the stage while you were clapping.